Uh, th this is a short video to talk about sums insured from a personal consumer buying insurance online or speaking to an expert, i.e. an insurance broker. Harvey, how do you usually buy your household insurance? Online. Why do you buy it online? Convenience. It's there. It's there? Yeah. Okay. So, when you're answering questions, are you answering them truthfully, honestly? Partly. Partly. That's a bad answer. Because it's all about statements of fact, truthfulness, etc. Okay. So what we're talking about now is sums insured. So there's a sums insured question comes up saying you need to insure your contacts. And he says sums insured. Do you understand that term? Uh, no, I would have to go on to Google and ask what that term means. And usually what Google says? Uh, it then directs me to the terms and conditions of an awful lot of insurance websites that give me an awful lot of terms that I still don't understand. Okay, so you've taken a judgment call with the to that, and you just pick a number out of the sky? Yeah. Okay, so are you relying on that insurance policy if something goes wrong? Completely. So when something goes wrong and then you find out your son's insured, is it correct or insufficient? Mm. How do you feel about that? Cheated. Cheated. So, in view of that, would it be best if you speaking to an insurance broker or an insurance company online? Mm. Yeah, it would. And you would pay the extra to get that peace of mind? Confidence? Uh, I would, but I understood that was the service I was getting. So, what we're talking about here is sums insured, personal consumer talking to a captive audience of personal consumers buying insurance. So, what's the purpose of buying an insurance policy if you're relying on something that may or may not enact when something goes wrong?